Hello, church family. So as you can see, I have a little bit of a different scenery today. Um, this weather was just too beautiful for me to pass up. Um, so I wanted to do something a little different um, because it is so beautiful. So I hope you guys had a chance to enjoy this weather that God has given us and can enjoy this beautiful week ahead of us. Um, but today we're going to be reading a story called God is Love. So other inspiring letters form part of the New Testament. In Hebrews, we're told, faith is the confidence that we hope for will actually happen. Our ancestors had faith. Noah built a boat when everyone was laughing at him. Sarah believed she would have a child even though she was old. Moses took his people out of Egypt just because God told him to. Let yourself be filled with faith. Cast off the things that weigh you down so you have the strength and endurance to run, across, run the race set before us. The Apostle James went to say, what good is it to say you have faith, but don't show it by your actions? Words are not enough. Faith is not enough unless it produces good deeds. Peter wrote, you face hardship and suffering, but don't despair. Instead, be glad for these trials make you partners with Christ in his suffering. They will test your faith as fire tests and purifies gold. Remember that there is a wonderful joy ahead. Don't be disheartened if it seems a long time in coming. God is being patient, for he wants everyone to repent. But the day of the Lord will come unexpectedly, so be prepared. The Apostle John wrote, God is love. He showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son into the world so that he, we might have eternal life through him. Since he loved us that much, let us make sure that we love one another so that God can live in us and we can live in God. And as we live in God, our love will grow more perfect. And when the day of judgment comes, we will not have to fear anything. Perfect love drives out all fear. We love one another because he first loved us. So there's the little picture there. So the story was all about God loving us. And in the beginning, it does say faith is the confidence that we hope for will actually happen. Our ancestors had faith. Um, cast off things that weigh you down. So that just says that no matter what, um, cast them on to Jesus. If you're sad, if you're worried, if you're happy, whatever it may be, give it all to Jesus because he wants to know you completely and he wants to love you completely. So just like when your parents want to ask you and say don't they don't want you to lie or keep any secrets from them it's not because they want to be mean or anything like that it's because they love you so much that they want to know everything about you because they created you just like jesus created you so they want to know everything about you because to them you are perfect and beautiful so that's kind of like how jesus sees us is like how your parents see you um you're going to face hardships and suffering. Um, so that just means sometimes times are going to be a little hard and sometimes days are going to be a little confusing or sad, but that's okay. Um, don't let it get you down because it's going to be all okay in the end because Jesus loves us so much that he's never going to let us suffer forever because one day we're going to be able to see him and have a party with him and have so much fun with Jesus forever all because he loves us that much. Um, so it's kind of like he, your parents love you so much that every year they're going to try and celebrate your birthday. Well, when we go to heaven, we're going to celebrate everyone's birthday um, with Jesus and that's what it's going to be like. So if you when you look forward to having a birthday party and seeing your friends or you look forward to going to school after the long summer um that's how jesus feels when we come we're going to come see him is he's going to be so excited because he loves you so much he misses you so much just like you miss your friends um especially right now um so the apostle john wrote that god is love and that we should love one another because he first loved us so if you have some friends or some siblings um anything like that, we need to love them just like Jesus loves us, which is a ton. So just like your mom loves you, and I'm sure she tells you all the time, I love you so much, and you tell her back the same thing, or your dad tells you he loves you so much, that's how much Jesus loves us. So we have to love those around us the exact same. So even if sometimes your siblings or your friends aren't being too nice, instead we're gonna love them and love them always unconditionally because we know that just because someone is having a bad day and being a little mean, it doesn't mean they are mean. Um, they're just a little off that day. So we wanna love them as much as we can and love them unconditionally because your heart is so beautiful. And just like we did cover last week, um, a beautiful heart is worth so much more um, than we could ever know. So I hope you never forget how much God truly loves you and how much you can just pray to God and he's going to do whatever he can um, to help you because that's how much he loves you. So 
I hope you guys can do the craft and check out the video on Facebook. We have coloring sheets this week, so um, to go with this lesson. And if you're able to bring them back for us um, so we can hang them up because we want to see all your beautiful work and see what you guys can create. We miss you guys. We hope we could see you soon. And I hope you guys can enjoy the rest of your week and this weather that God has given us because he's truly creating a beautiful summer for us here in Italy. Um, but I will see you guys next week.